hello students i would like to share a shortcut or a verification method in order to verify the dft that you have calculated by using any of those methods either by dft by definition or by uh, fft's you can verify the dft calculations and the results by using the scientific calculator here is the method please try to check this let us consider uh, a input sequence whose uh, x of n is given as 1 2 3 4 or uh, 4 3 2 1 let us consider that it is an n is equal to 8 point sequence it's an n is equal to 8 point sequence given as x of n is equal to 1 2 3 4 4 3 2 1 and now i would like to calculate this by using a scientific calculator so first of all you need to ensure that your scientific calculator is in complex mode if at all if it is not in complex mode please make sure that it is in complex mode by setting up that mode to complex once you have done that entering the sequence for calculating the dft is very easy just open the braces open the braces normal braces and enter the sequence that is the first x of 0 1 and then click on shift click on shift and then click on angle minus 0 alpha and click on the same uh, value as a and then close the braces plus and now enter the second point that is 2 therefore once again clicking on shift angle minus 45 alpha a plus and the third point the third point is 3 therefore enter 3 shift angle minus 90 alpha a plus the fourth point is 4 the fourth sample okay shift angle minus 135 alpha a plus the fifth sample is 4 once again therefore shift angle shift angle minus 180 alpha a plus the sixth sample enter the sixth sample that is 3 shift angle minus 225 minus 225 alpha a plus the sixth sample that is 2 shift angle minus 270 alpha a close the braces plus the last sample that is 1 shift angle minus 315 a okay this a variable is used to find out the solutions okay and uh, as you know that since we are doing for an 8 point dft generally the entire 360 degrees is being uh, divided into these negative angles starting with 0 minus 45 minus 90 minus 135 and so on that is the reason we have used uh, uh, the same in the calculator and now in order to find out uh, the values you need to just press this calc c a l c therefore you can just uh, press on cal c and it will ask you for the values for the values of k then you can just press enter the same value if you would like to know about x of 0 press 0 and press on equal to therefore you will be getting the result as x of 0 as you can just note it down as 20 
and similarly in order to know the value of 1 once again press on calci and then press x of 1 which will be equal to here you could get that result as x of 1 is equal to minus 5.828 minus 2.414 j okay that is what I have noted here x of 1 and similarly in order to calculate the rest of the values you can just press on once again you can press on cal c and that value 2 equal to which comes out to be here in this case x of 2 is equal to 0 okay and similarly in order to find out the other values press on cal c and 3 which gives you the value of x of 3 which is equal to minus 0 0.171 minus 0 0.414 j similarly for the other values you can press on cal c and 4 which is equal to 0 here and x of 5 is given by cal c and 5 which is equal to minus 0 0.171 plus 0 0.414 j and similarly for calculating the sixth value press on 6 and that gives us x of 6 is equal to 0 and similarly for finding the final value that is x of 7 you can press once again on cal c and press 7 which will be equal to minus 5.828 plus 2.414 j okay that is what i have noted here the values can be verified in this way okay you can just verify this by taking another example and uh, this is how you can calculate the dft by using a uh, scientific calculator thank you